top though, Tim. It wasn't as uh, solid a punch as, as it appeared. There it is again, and Johnson was moving with the punch. No damage done to Kirk Johnson. Monaco breathing a little more heavily as he comes off his stool here for round number six, scheduled for 10. Good left jab, Monaco. But all this weight behind that left jab. That was probably his best punch of the fight. Some competitor, this guy. Yes, he certainly is. Doesn't have a lot of skills. Not Doesn't have fast hands. But he's got heart and strength. Of course, for Johnson's part, he uh, prepared for Samson Pouha, and suddenly he's got a guy he hasn't seen before. Yeah, but Tim, uh, let's take it the other way. Monaco hasn't prepared for him either. He hasn't prepared at all, <laughs> period. But he is in shape, as he's shown us here into the sixth round. A jab again at Johnson's, finding the range. Starting to paint the face of Monaco. A combination right left that time from Johnson, both scoring. Left hook to the body again by Johnson. Again, another left hook to the body. In the sixth round, Johnson is willing to stay there when Monaco punches back, but he hasn't been able to score effective combinations to back Monaco up. There's a right hand to the ear of Monaco, and Monaco fires back. So competitive. Not graceful, not elegant, but he's competitive. And a minute to go on the sixth. Again, you see Monaco completely off balance, right foot in front of his left foot, and still managed to throw two yeah. right hands. He's always willing to throw. right into that again. Monaco, no balance. Right foot went forward when he threw the right hand, walked right into the punch, and still took it. Coming to the final seconds of the sixth round. Monaco, again, losing his balance, but throwing as he backs up. Johnson may get frustrated. I have a lot of fun playing characters that are impulsive and dramatic because the real me is pretty basic. I'm even a little practical. Like a while back, I noticed I had some flakes. So naturally, I started using head and shoulders. Of course, it helps keep the flakes away. And if it leaves my hair looking like this, why mess with a good thing? Head and shoulders changes dandruff problems into beautiful hair. Monaco, 7, 8, and 2 is record. He's lost only three times being stopped, and the first time it was in just his second pro fight, and it was to big Eric Esch, better known as Butterbean, but that was just in his second pro fight, and he had, uh, had no amateur experience. Then he was stopped by uh, Michael Grant, the referee stopping the fight in the third round, and, and also in the third round of Jeremy Williams. Well, meanwhile, again, he stopped your favorite fighter. Irish Kevin McBride, the part of Pride of Ireland. He also stopped McNeely. This is true. I, 
I can't say that either of those guys are legitimate top teners. Well, in Ireland, they thought that McBride was uh, their big hope. Yes, they did. That's when we were there for the Lewis Fortune main event here on CBS. Justin Fortune and, of course, Lewis defending his title later tonight. Lennox Lewis. Kirk Johnson. Talked to him about Lennox Lewis and said, uh, you know, is he a guy you look up to? And do you consider him just a Jamaican immigrant to Canada who's now moved on to Great Britain? And he said, oh, I have great respect for him. I understand that he, he was an immigrant from an immigrant family to Canada. He says, I'm, I'm a Canadian born and proud of it. He hopes to be the next Canadian heavyweight star. I'm, I'm amazed at the fact that uh, Monaco was able to hang in there the way he has been able to in this fight. And continues to try. Look, there, there's that off balance right hand again. You think he'd throw a left hand from that position. And he wings the right instead. Now we haven't given him a round on our scorecards. And he was knocked down in the second. But he is a determined, competitive young man. This is scheduled for 10. We are live from the Grand Casino in Biloxi. Kirk Johnson may indeed be getting a little frustrated that he can't put this guy away, especially since he knocked him down in the second round. Watch your head. Maybe getting a little tired too, Tim. That's a, a big man that he's wrestling around with in there. In 30 seconds we go on the seventh round. Now, every, every once in a while, Monaco gets everything together and throws a punch. Two right, right hands out. scored by Johnson. And Monaco goes down here, but he, I think he took an opportunity for a rest, but they're now... I guess the referee was trying to call a standing eight count, and then Monaco went down. He looks weary here, but again he gets up. And no, this time the referee, Paul Cita, says that's enough for this gamester from Denver, Colorado. Chicago born and raised, and he has stopped in the seventh round, I think more by exhaustion, Gil. I think so too, Tim. I mean, you get, have to give him all the credit in the world. Took the fight on 24 hour notice, came in here, got nailed by a punch in the second round, still got up and still continued to try and try and try, but he was just overmatched. And he is dog tired now, leaning against the ropes. It looked like Paul C, the referee, was stepping in to call a standing eight count, which they can do in Mississippi. It was slightly confusing at that point. And then uh, Monaco went down to the canvas. See, there's a big right hand. He's still on his feet. Now you see Sita coming in. His intention appeared to be here to call a standing eight count. And then Monaco fell down after that, I think probably knowing he was going to get eight anyway. But Timmy got nailed by a left hook when the referee got in the way. There's the right hand. Now you're going to see. There's the left hook as the referee came over. And that really was the punch that the, the coup de gras. Paul Cita gave him a look when he did get to his feet and decided that was enough for a game competitor, Lewis Monaco. But Kirk Johnson is 23 and 0 with 17 KOs. We'll be back here in Biloxi in a moment. There will never be another like him. He moved faster. He hit harder and he spoke louder. More than a champion, he is forever the greatest. I must be the greatest. Feel the power of this legendary man in an exclusive offer from Sports Illustrated. You'll get Muhammad Ali, the incredible video that captures this heroic warrior in championship style. And this authentic Everlast ringside sweatshirt, the choice of champions. Both the heavyweight sweatshirt and Ali video are free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated, the magazine that gets you into sports like no one else. Call this number now and get the free Ali video that puts you into the ring with the greatest. And if you get too small, I'll knock you out. Time and time again, he showed us things we couldn't believe. Oh, sure. Josie, right to the jaw. This one goes down. And gave us moments we won't forget. Ali didn't pull any punches as he told you what he was going to do. And then did it. Call now 
now and you also get this great looking heavyweight sweatshirt from Everlast, the biggest name in boxing. Both the Ali video and the sweatshirt are free when you order 54 issues of Sports Illustrated, including the two big football previews for only $1.48 an issue. Save over 55% off the cover price. For quicker delivery of your two great gifts, use your credit card. What are you going to do about that? Now you must vote. Call now to get this exclusive SI offer, the collector's video of the legendary Muhammad Ali and this extra-large Everlast sweatshirt. It's a power-packed combination free from Sports Illustrated. There's no greater champion than Muhammad Ali. And there's nothing in the world like Sports Illustrated. Get into it. I'm Paula Zahn. A controversial first, a nerve transplant using fetal tissue. And President Clinton in Denmark hails the new NATO on tonight's CBS Evening News. Back in Biloxi, let's go to ring announcer Mark Biero. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, 58 seconds of the seventh round. The winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, yeah. Kirk North Preston Johnson. Right. Johnson. Kirk Johnson, knockout winner here of Lewis Monaco, put on a game display, to say the least, going into the seventh. Uh, first, Kirk, let's ask you about your limp here. What happened? Uh, you know, I threw a, I think I threw a right hand and I twisted my, my knee, but I'm okay. But first of all, I'd like to thank Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, for getting me through the fight and for helping my opponent out. And this fight here is dedicated to my cousin, Jamal. And what's up to the Joe Hands Boxing Gym? All right, well, Kirk, uh, I, I know you didn't know much about uh, Monaco. It took this fight just yesterday. Uh, he gave you a tough time when he had him down in the second. You must have thought it was going to be easy. You know, I thought it was going to be easy, but these are sometimes the worst fight. I wish that I would have fought the original opponent because I was more pumped up for it. But when I came in here, I felt that I was nervous. And for a fighter to come in the ring not nervous, that's bad for him to do. Well, now you've had a chance on national uh, television to show your wares here. You're already ranked number 10 in the world, 23-0. and 0. Uh, What would you like to have next for an opponent? Well, uh, well, what I like to have is whatever George and my managers decide. You know, the only thing I have to do is to, to work and stay focused at all time. And, you know, Chaz and Donald and my team, that's what we're working on. So whatever the managers and George come up with, that's, that's exactly what we'll do next. Well, let's take a look at the uh, knockout again here uh, as we uh, see the finish of the fight. And perhaps you can describe what happens. A big right hand there, and then a left hand behind it. And Paul C. the referee, told us he was stepping in here to call a standing eight count under the rules in Mississippi. But just at the moment he was doing that, Monaco went down. Yes. So, you know, I was kind of happy that the referee stopped it because this guy was kind of kind of awkward. But, you know, at that particular time, that's when I felt that everything was coming back to me. You know, I got my second win, so I was ready to roll at that particular time. All right, we hope your knee injury is uh, nothing serious, Kirk. We congratulate you on a good performance here today. Thank you very and, much. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again. Kirk Johnson, Canadian heavyweight, unbeaten at 23-0, right, 17 KOs now. We'll be hearing lots more of him. Well, we've got more boxing action coming ahead here. Stay with us as we bring you a look back at Lucia Riker in action.